Hello, YouTube. <laughs> um, worldwide update, YouTube worldwide update. Hey, girl. Hey. But anyway, um, apparently the reason why Chris Brown turned himself into jail, which was stupid, was because him and this woman were in a car, and apparently they were arguing, and the argument escalated as they got out of the car, and apparently he beat the bitch's ass and disappeared. So I guess after he ran away, he ran to Rihanna. Baby, I beat some bitch's ass. Look, yo, I don't know whatever girls out there like or Chris Brown. I don't have a problem with that. I'm just saying. Chris Brown, he's awesome, but he's not my favorite. I love me some Neo, I'm just saying. But Rihanna run, because apparently Chris Brown's a woman beater. Girl, run for the hills, because he's going to whip your ass. You're going to say, don't say something too much. He is like Turner. You hear me? Eventually his fame going to deteriorate. <laughs> and he, you going to start, you saying going to start pissing him off, Rihanna, and he going to eventually fuck you up. Don't, I'm, I'm just hoping y'all don't be surprised if you see Rihanna on tour or something singing Disturbia with a whole bunch of bruises and a big black eye or something because it's probably been Chris Brown whipping her ass. And update number two on this Beyonce and Eddie James. Apparently Eddie James is angry because she sang the original classic at last, even though Beyonce did portray her in the movie Cadillac Records. And she did, in fact, do you justice, Miss Edda. Okay, but Eddie James was angry, like, why did Beyonce get to sing my song on President Day? Why couldn't it be a duet? Or why couldn't I have sung it? Um, just a little thought, ding, ding, ding. Maybe because Beyonce sounds better than you. I'm just, I'm, I hope nobody is angry at me about this. Um, so, I mean, if you feel, if I'm wrong, send me responses or something. But... Beyonce did in fact sing because I did download the classic versions of At Last and I listened to them both after each other. Edda James is first and Beyonce is second. And then Beyonce is first and Edda James is second. And Beyonce killed that song. Edda James who fucking sucked. I'm sorry, but I'm just saying. And I've never even heard of this lady named Edda James until Cadillac Records came out. So you should be happy that Beyonce did you some justice because by her portraying you and singing your song, you're getting paid. So just suck that shit up. Be an adult about it. And, of course, Miss Beyonce is scared. She's running like she always do. She don't have no comments. She better call Hovey, and he better um, get his uh, Rockefeller family to come with that ass. I'm just saying. She, Etta James, you, you threatening Beyonce. You better watch out because the Rock. The Rock. I'm whip that ass. I'm just saying, girl, you better run for the hills. You better get plastic surgery or something, change your appearance, because I don't think Jay-Z going to like the fact that you're threatening his baby mama. I'm not saying she's pregnant. I mean, you never know. She probably was shooting from what I heard. Beyonce was pregnant before, and she lost the baby. Her stomach was getting wide, and then she got a tummy tuck before the BT Award 2007 saying deja vu with a sparkly outfit and the moving stage. But yeah, I'm just saying. So yeah, this is a response to my last video, it's an update. Apparently Chris Brown is a woman beater, and Rihanna should run away, and Beyonce's a scared little kitty cat, and Jay-Z might be getting mafia or whatnot. There might be another East Coast, West Coast war between Beyonce and Etta James. So yeah, that's just another update, y'all, on this crazy-ass, stupid-ass situation. So, it's JR Revolution with another... YouTube video blog, episode number fucking 30, 33, update 2. Suck it and blow it.